So continuing from where we left off, we didn't quite finish the lesson yesterday. Example eight, I like this question, I like this question. I, I also like this because you're gonna see this really combines pretty much everything we've learned this year, except for relativity, we're not going near the speed of light. So let's look at this. It says the dragster's tires accelerate it from rest, I would probably mentally underline the phrase from rest, to a speed of 48 meters per second. Right now, Andrew, you found where we are? Okay. Oh, jets hunting away? Less than six, it was called uh, more friction examples. The front of it looked an awful lot like this. Okay, give me a holler if you can't find it. I'll give you a copy of it and we can continue. You don't think you can find it? Uh-oh. All right, back to where we were. So jet example eight. Um, the fact that I see from rest and a speed of 48 meters per second, I'm already thinking to myself, Trevor, I can probably find acceleration or D, or I haven't even read the rest, but if I need to, I can find that stuff using kinematics uh, in a distance of 64 meters. In fact, Trevor, what's A asking me to find? Okay. I don't think I'm going to find the acceleration with a free body diagram and going winner minus loser because I saw from rest and 48 and 64. I think I'm going to go A equals question mark, VI equal. what's VI, everyone? Zero. What's VF? 48. And then what's that 64? Yeah, probably a displacement, but it doesn't matter, I don't think, in this case. And then I would say to myself, self, I'm looking for an equation that's got an A, a D, a V, I, a V, F. There is one. Trevor, which equation are we looking at from way back when? Yep. And then we were good at this once. We've slacked off a bit. We would say, get the A by itself. So there's the A. What's going to drop down like a domino? The VF squared. And then reverse bed mass. I'll move the VI squared over. How would I move the VI squared over? And then what would I do with the 2 and the D? Yeah. So we said something like this. A is going to be VF squared minus VI squared all over 2D. And I think I've said this already, but I'll repeat myself. Everything from kinematics, still fair game. Okay, uh, It's going to be 48 squared uh, minus 0 squared. Will minus 0 squared make a difference at all? <coughs> I'm going to skip it. Uh, divided by 2 times 64. Dragster should have a fairly good acceleration. If I get an acceleration of like 0.2, I'd probably think I made a mistake because I do try and give you realistic numbers. What'd you get, Trev? Sorry? Uh-oh. Uh, probably got to put the bottom in brackets because there's more than one thing on the bottom or use the fancy schmancy fraction button. What'd you get? Eighteen is that right? That that seems about right. I bet you in a uh, in a dragster, you're probably pulling a little under two G's. You'd feel like you were accelerating backwards, but you're accelerating forwards, right? You're feeling your own inertia. Okay, that seems right. If you had got one point eight, I'd say I think dragsters accelerate a little faster than that. But okay. good, good, good. Caden, what's B asking me to find? The what force? The what force? You know what? F equals MA. Did they give me the mass? Did they give me the acceleration? Well, they didn't give it to me, but I just found it. So would I be okay if I had skipped part A and just asked you part B? I think I'll say, Nick, as far as I'm concerned, that's now fair game. Okay? 540 times 18. Caden, what'd you get? 9720? What's the force of friction between the tires and the... You know what? Now I think I better draw a free body diagram because friction involves a normal force and a few other things. I'll do my free body diagram. Oh, I don't know. How about right here? What are the forces acting on the dragster? Okay. Andrew, what else? Bigger, smaller, or the same size as MG? 
I think in this case, same size. I don't see any extra vertical forces. What else? What, which way? Yeah, you, which, first of all, which way are you accelerating? To the right? So there has to be a force this way. Andrew, you just made me happy because you've realized what force is it that makes a car or a dragster move forward? Is it F engine? No. Is it F tires? No. What is it? That's why you can't drive on ice, baby. Okay, there's my free body diagram. What did part C want me to find, Andrew? My first thought would be to go, don't write this down, friction equals mu times the normal force. Why doesn't that help? My next thought, because I've had Mr. Duick for almost a whole semester now, is to think maybe I'm going to use my answer from part B, because he tends to go sequentially. What did we find in part B? Which, which force? See this? Who's winning? Who's losing? It's a trick question. So if we write a winner minus loser equation, you know what it would look like? It would be winner, no loser, equals ma. Oh! Ha. How big is friction exactly in Newton's, Caden? It's got to be 9,720 because it's the only force in my net force equation. We're ignoring air resistance because the question didn't mention to include air resistance. Okay. So I can say, you know what? Friction is 9,720 newtons. That's a classic so easy that it's tough question because otherwise I would have panicked. But And do you see, Andrew, how I reasoned there? I fr tried the obvious. Friction is mu times the normal force. That's not going to work. Uh, well... Maybe I'll use my previous answer to find this answer. Fair enough? Okay. Jet, what's D asking me to find? Uh, what's the only equation that's got a mu in it? Friction equals mu times the normal force. Get the mu by itself, my friend. Yep. I know friction is 9,720. I don't know the normal force. Oh, but look, 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 look. Another force the same size as the normal force. Okay. I'll just write mg. I'll let you type in the numbers on your calculator. I'm hoping we get a reasonable answer. Dragster tires have a high coefficient of friction. What was m540 times 9.8? Jet, did you get 1.8? Oh, still typing. 1.84, I think, if I go to three sig figs. Did you remember I put the bottom in brackets? Yeah, 1.84 units. Yeah, in fact, if you look, it's newtons divided by newtons. No units. One more. What's catching your eye in example nine? There's something in the diagram that's making me go, okay, I have to be a little careful here. What? Does an Presley, what? There's an extra vertical force. Normal force is not mg. If I see an arrow up or an arrow down, right away I think to myself, I'm going to have to be a little more careful. If I need to find the normal force, I'll have to do an everything down equals everything up equation and then get the normal force by itself. Okay. Presley, what's example nine asking me to find? You know what? I think we're going to do something similar to what we just did. I'll bet you what we'll end up finding is the force of friction, and then I'll bet you we'll end up going the normal, uh, mu is friction divided by the normal force, what we just kind of walked through. But I have a feeling this one's going to be a little more difficult. Suggestion. 
what should I start out with? I think so. So what are the forces acting on this 20 kilogram mass? Presley. Good. What else? I usually do normal force next. Is the normal force going to be bigger, smaller, or the same size as mg? Smaller. Why? Because someone's canceling out 85 newtons worth of whatever gravity is doing. So I'll exaggerate it so it catches my eye. I have F applied. What else? So, what the acceleration isn't a force. I'm not going to stick it on my free body diagram. Which force am I missing? Because they're asking me to find a mu. I'm missing friction. Here's the question. Is friction going to be bigger, smaller, or the same size as F applied? Which way are we accelerating? I guess what we're doing is we're slowing down. Or... Because, cause, yeah, because friction doesn't do any pulling on its own. I think they're tugging this to the right, but they're losing. It's slowing down. Okay? So, I tried to make it longer, but I ran out of room. If you can make your arrow longer than F applied, make it obviously longer. What's my equation then? Who's winning? Who's losing? Equals? Okay, so it's going to be friction minus F app equals MA. We've got our start. Ava, what are we trying to find here? What? No, we're not trying to find friction. Mu, which is hidden inside of the force of friction. I'm going to get the force of friction by itself. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to plus F applied over. I'll get this, MA plus F app. I'm going to do one more step. Instead of writing friction and dropping it down, what will I write instead? What friction is, which is, I'm going to do that. Presley, back to you. What am I trying to find? That'll be fussy. Not fr friction's the force, the coefficient of friction, which is what determines how big the force is. The mu, that I agree with. How will I get the mu by itself? Yeah, this is kind of like Trevor's theorem, except not for acceleration. I'll do it on this line. Okay. Let's walk through our checklist, Presley. Do I know M? Do I know A? Do I know F applied? I don't know the normal force. And it's not mg, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do a vertical force equation. Are we sinking into the ground like... No, are we flying to your legs? So everything down equals everything. Can you turn that into an equation for me, kiddo? Everything down. I'll give you a hint. There's one thing. Has to equal everything up. There's two things. Yes. We want Fn by itself. How would I get Fn by itself? Okay. Now, folks, if you wanted to turn this into an actual number, in other words, if you went to your calculator right now and went 20 times 9.8 minus 85, and you put that there, I'm fine with that. I'm going to do this whole thing algebraically just so you can see how it all fits together. So my next line here is going to be Ma plus F applied all over mg minus 85. Now let's plug in our numbers. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. So Presley, you'll have to tell me the numbers. What was m? Was it 20? a was? f applied was? 20 times 9.8 minus 85. Um, Hey, everyone, is this a fraction? Yeah. Is there more than one thing on the top? Unless you have the fancy schmancy button, you'll have to put brackets around the top, and you'll have to put brackets around the bottom. If I'm typing this into my calculator, I've got to go bracket 20 times 1.2 plus 75, close bracket, divided by bracket 
20 times 9.8 minus 85. And I get 0.892, or am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. I think I'm right. Am I right? 0.892. That's a fairly, that's a fairly, that's a pretty tough question, even more than fairly. I would consider that B plus, A minus. Why would an A or an A plus B? We'll get there. Yeah. You can get that? Okay, I'll come back to you in a second. But let me, since we're done, we watched the balloon video yesterday, yes? What's your homework? So you can circle number one. Number two. What is I want you to find in number two, Nick? Is that mass sitting on a surface? Be obvious. Is there a normal force then in my free body diagram? No. People start sticking normal forces everywhere. If you're not sitting on a surface, no normal force. Uh, that's going to be winner minus loser. I think gravity and tension, I'll let you figure out which way. Um, three is so easy that it's tough. That's a hint. Skip four, but you can do five. Six, hey, your hint is the normal force is not mg. Seven, hey, your hint is the normal force is not mg. Turn the page. Eight, your hint is the normal force is not mg. This is similar to the one that Presley just did. It's asking you to find mu, the coefficient of friction. Nine and ten. Okay. Jet, you with me? Of course you are. So which one did I say to skip, Jet? Busted. Stay off your phone. Pause for a second.